Hey there boys and girls and welcome to episode 153 of Sonic Boom TV. This is a uh, what I got in the mail slash Pearl Jam collection episode inspired by my good friend Bobby Joe who is uh, probably the number one Pearl Jam fan in the world uh, and uh, yeah <laughs> so anyway um, I just saw uh, she's I sent her the uh, Scott Weiland uh, 12 Bar Blues album that came out on Record Store Day, the record, and uh, I sent that to her, told her it was a gift, she wouldn't listen to me, and she decided that she's going to send me something back, so she sent me a Pearl Jam album that I didn't have, uh, and, uh, and that's what's going to be in this box. Uh, Bobby is a wonderful person. She, uh, she's the best, and uh, you know I, I think the world of her. She uh, doesn't believe me when I tell her, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, she is uh, she's the good one. Um, so, anyway, besides uh, getting into all that, we're going to open up what she sent me. And thank you, KPJ, for the other one. That's me, KPJ, by the way. Uh, now, uh, Bobby uh, used to own a record store, and I was going to wear the hat, but I spilled something on it, so it looked kind of yucky. i got to try to clean it. Uh, but, anyway... Uh, she used to own a store in West Virginia, and she got some uh, some stuff in that that uh, I had never seen before. And this is one of them. Um, this is not a official release. This is a I don't know that it's a bootleg, but it's definitely unofficial. Um, this is Pearl Jam completely unplugged the acoustic broadcast. Uh, pretty nice uh cover um i noticed something online i mean on discogs about this uh it there's two different versions of it like uh two different uh companies put it out and and i think this is the first one so i don't know if like somebody bootlegged the bootlegger or or what but uh it 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 seemed kind of funny but it's two disc uh black vinyl uh, just got the that label, that label. This uh, was not the MTV Unplugged. Um, MTV Unplugged, I, I didn't get it. And I, I, they didn't have it at my store, I think, or something was wrong when it came out. But it was on, M, the MTV Unplugged. I think is only seven songs, and this is uh, this is a lot more. Uh, this is like like seventeen or something like that. Sixteen. This is a sixteen song. So I'm um, just gonna sit, go into what it is. Uh, Side A, Intro, Oceans, State of Love and Trust, Trust, Porch, Alive. Side B, Black, Tuning Jam, Jeremy and Porch. Again, Porch, the student version of Porch, uh, I guess. Uh, side C, an encore intro, Even Flow, Rockin' in the Free World. Uh, side D, Daughter, Wish List, Lost, Last, blah, blah, blah. it's supposed to be Last Kiss, but it's Lost Kiss, Kiss, and Yellow, which is Yellow Lead Better. Um, these were recorded in the first, tracks one through twelve were in uh, at Pauley Pavilion in Los Angeles, California, September 9th, nineteen ninety-two, and tracks thirteen through sixteen uh, from the live FM broadcast recorded at Shoreline Amphitheater, Mountain View, California, October thirty-first, nineteen ninety-nine. So this is a uh, a cool addition, um, you know, because I don't have. I mean, I have the MP3s of the M MTV unplugged, but this is this is the first uh, uh, physical copy I have of anything. Um, so now, now that we've said that, got that out the way. Thank you, Bobby. You are amazing. Uh, we're gonna go through what I have in Pearl Jam. Now I have a pretty big program Pearl Jam collection as far as CDs go. Um, I was into them a lot when they first came out. Uh, I bought a bunch of singles. And a funny story about the singles, uh, I had had a bunch of them and I was looking for one. And this is kind of the early days of, of eBay. And I kept looking for the singles and whatever one it was, I don't even remember. Um, they, all the singles were like, people were selling for like six to $10. And the one I wanted was always, you know, like 10 bucks. Um, whatever one it was and I, I could never like 
make myself just pay that for, for, for it because I was buying singles for cheaper than that in the stores. And so I found somebody that had like six or eight of them or something for 10 bucks, all of them. And it had uh, ones I already had and then the one that I needed. So, and I don't remember which one was which. It was early, early on. It was, this was probably 2000, 2002, something like that. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so I have doubles on some of them. Uh, and, uh, the funny part, the funny part about the story was I ordered it and then I never got, got a thing, you know, right away. I probably did, but I didn't know it because one day I was living with my aunt and uncle at the time. My aunt says, you know, you got a box in the mail of crackers. And I was like, I got a box of crackers in the mail. And she goes, yeah, it's been there over there for like a week. And I was like, what are you talking about? I have crackers. So I go... And in the kitchen where they, they had a little mail thing. And she goes, look, it's in there. Just go go see what it is. And I pick it up. She goes, it's kind of heavy. And I'm like, I didn't order crackers, especially, you know, heavy ones. So I pick it up. And it's literally a box of Captain's Wafers. Maybe Ritz. I don't know. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. And it had a tag on it that just said, had the address and stuff. But it was an actual box, a cracker box, that had tape on one end. Thinnest box you could think of the, the ship CDs and None of the CDs were broken or anything. Uh, and uh, I was like, I don't know what this is. And I opened it up, and it was the Pearl Jam CD. So, there you go. <laughs> so, let's start with my CD collection. Uh, I first found out about Pearl Jam before, probably before most people, because... There used to be these radio stations, uh, that radio shows, I should say, on, on the local radio stations. And, and some of them were like national kind of shows, but they would play them like at 11 o'clock min or midnight, you know, and during the week. And I'd always stay up and, and listen to them or record, or at least stay up long enough to press record on a tape and catch 45 minutes of it, um, you know, however long I had a tape. But Pearl Jam was on there. As well as Nirvana, it happened with both of them. It was like within the same week, because I think they came out at the same time. Uh, but I had, for Pearl Jam, I had Once, Even Flow, and Alive. I had those three songs uh, taped before anybody, like before the album came out. It had to be a couple weeks before the album came out. So as soon as it came out, I ran and got it. Um, man, I got a got an irritation right here, guys. Uh, <laughs> but, uh. But anyway, so I got Pearl Jam's 10, uh, you know, pretty quickly. Um, and this is, you know, my original copy of it. Uh, I, I never got to go see them. Yes, I did go see them once. Sorry. No, but I never got to go see them on this tour. I wanted to when they came. Uh, but something happened and I couldn't go. And uh, I had a girlfriend at the time and... She went to school in Texas, and she did get to go see them. So, uh, so that was good for her. Uh, but anyway, had that. Then I started, like I said, I was collect, trying to collect singles and stuff, uh, and I got Alive. This is uh, I've got a couple versions of Alive, uh, but. Uh, one of them is an import. I'm not sure. I think it's this one. Uh, gotta look at it, guys. I don't know. Uh, but I've got this one with the red version of that. That was, like, my favorite. I, ha I wanted this T-shirt so bad, and I never could find one. Uh, they used to come to school at, at, and sell shirts all the time, and they never had one in my size. Uh, one of these is an import. Of this one, most likely. Paid $3.99 for that one. Uh, and then... This one is for Even Flow, I believe. Uh, the cover is missing from this because this is from Austria, by the way. The cover is missing from this one because when I moved, I, I had these sh CD rack things and I laid them down in the back of my truck and I put tape kind of over them, but I, I saw it when I was going over this bridge, the wind caught it right. And it pulled that tape up and like several of my P albums flew out. And 
uh, the cover of this flew off. I had a Papa Roach single that was uh, that flew down the street, and I could never find it. Um, but all the rest of the stuff landed in the truck, so uh, so I was able to recover. I only lost those two things: uh, the cover of this and the, that other thing. So then I've got the Jeremy single, not to be confused with more expensive identical import version not to be confused um this one uh i should tell you with some of these songs nah we're not gonna do we're not gonna go with the songs in this one it's too much too many um they all have extra songs though that's why i was buying the singles um then we go to the next album and it's the one everybody calls verses but this one is just called pearl jam or or Five against one. Um, it says it in here somewhere. Uh, because they were not sure what they were going to call the album at first. I think it was going to be five against one. And then it just, they decided to... No, it doesn't say it. I thought there was a picture of it uh, somewhere in here. Uh, but then they, they put it out because they had to put it out, I guess. But they weren't settled on the name. So mine just says... Pearl Jam on the on the side. Nowhere on this does it say verses. It um, the track listing is not on the back either. I think they have the the songs on the back on later versions. Um, so because I got this like the day it came out, uh, uh, the the track listings on the inside. Yeah, but it was so uh, so yeah. The uh, I see it all the time, and I always want to buy one that says verses on it, but they're always all scratched up and all that stuff, and I don't really need it. So, um, so anyway, that one, uh, that was a good one. <laughs> that one has the song Rats on it. That's one of my favorite program songs. So then, another one that's not to be confused with the import, the Pearl Jam Go uh, single. Very cool. Then we've got Animal. Uh, another version of Animal. Uh, I think this one's got different songs. Jeremy. Yeah, they they have different ver songs on them. That's why I, why I have different versions. Then we've got another one, not to be confused, Daughter. Another one, not to be confused, Dissident. This one has a lot of songs. This one says seven songs on that one. That's a good one. Here's another import for Dissident to be confused with the more expensive one. Uh, and it says, new single includes extra half an hour of live music. This was made in Austria. Uh, I don't know if it's the same track listing as the other. I go Dissident, even flow. Yep, exactly the same, just different, uh, different covers. Uh, then we move along to Vitology. Uh, kind of like this one uh, because it's it was a little booklet. Uh, Pearl Jam, I, I got to give them credit for some of their album stuff, man, because they do put a little effort into making their stuff unique and different, and you know, a little bit cooler than their average guy, you know. Let's see. There we go. Got the single for Spin the Black Circle. That was Bobby's uh, uh, record, I mean, yeah, record store. Uh, that one just had two songs on it. And I didn't buy any more singles from that album um, for some reason. I, I kind of slowed down after a while and then just completely stopped. Uh, no Code. Uh, this one... Maybe that's not the front. I don't know where the front is. Uh, this one had uh, another kind of unique thing going on. Wait. Yeah, it opened like that. And there's a sticker that I that was on the front, but I stuck it in there. Early on, no code. Um, I don't know why I didn't stick it on the front, but uh, pretty cool. There's CDs, and I think there's pictures and other stuff yeah a little packet with polaroids uh see which ones i got i got that that one that one actually i've seen on stuff i think there's an i think there's a single or something with that on it 
that one, that one, that one. There's a lot of them in here. And I don't think everybody got the same ones. I, I don't know if they were completely random or if there were just different sets that you could get. Um, because they do have the uh, the songs on the back of them. The, like I guess, I don't know if it's all the lyrics, but it's such a little mess stuff that you, you can't really read them. Um, but anyway, like I said, they do they did some, some cool stuff. Uh, you know, uh, so no matter if you like them or hate them, they, uh, they put effort in. And this is probably the reason I, uh, I needed to get those, uh, those singles is that my dog ate this. <laughs> uh, it's the Pearl Jam Merkin Ball, uh, CD that, uh, I actually have three copies of this now. Here's two clean ones. <laughs> uh, they, uh, there's nothing different about them. Um, they just, uh, for, like I said, the first one got eaten up by my dog. Uh, and uh, the other two were, one of them was in that pack that I had gotten. I don't know where the other one came from. Um, but then we came across live on two legs uh, another cool one see they got all this extra stuff this cool cool posters and stuff um, I would like to have uh, well maybe that is on the record I don't know if that's on the record or not but I want to have that bigger if I don't then we've got two given the fly singles then we have wish list which this might be the one that I was looking for uh, at the time Wishlist had that and just Brain of Brain of J and a song called U, the letter U. Uh, then we've got two of uh, Last Kiss, Soldier of Love, the other song on it. Then Pearl Jam, this is when they were, to me, officially not really grunge anymore. I mean, they, I don't think they were grunge really after the first album, maybe the second. You know, verses might have been kind of grungy too. But they were more of hard rock. But Riot Act, that was when they kind of changed and it was like, I think people started thinking, oh, they're done or whatever. And I don't disagree that they, they changed enough that they were kind of a different band at that point. Uh, but another cool book. Um, but I stuck with them. You know, I, I didn't uh, I didn't give up on, on the little Pearl Jam. I like them, you know, it's it just, the earlier stuff is way better to me. Um, I, I don't know that they uh, did anything too unique after after about this time, you know, till now. Um, but I could be wrong. Bobby, if you're watching, I know you're going to have an opinion on that. Uh, <laughs> um, and then we've got I Am Mine, the single from that, or one of the singles. Uh, Save You. A lot of singles I bought, and I and I probably would buy more. <clears throat> now this is a bootleg straight off the internet, <laughs> off of like LimeWire or Napster or something, uh, and it's one track, the whole whole CD. I think it's like forty five minutes. It's called, and I made the cover most. Not the name of the cover. The, I made the uh, the label myself. It says uh, I did it all by myself. Records actually I wrote on there. Uh, and this was number three, so I must have did two other ones before that. Uh, but live at Pink Pop 2000, Pearl Jam. Uh, so that, uh, I don't know if that was ever recorded for an official release or if uh, some of those other bootlegs or whatever, but I had the MP3 of the whole concert, so I put that on there. Um, I, I used to listen to it, but I haven't listened to it in years. I don't know if that CD works anymore. I probably still have the MP3. Then we've got... Uh, nothing as it seems single then we've got the binaural album uh, this is the tour I think I saw them on I'm not quite sure um, they did a lot of a lot of paper 
uh, sleeves and a lot of fold out stuff that they did all that good stuff. Now we got some more singles coming up. We got two copies of Light Years. Then here we go. Then we've got some official bootlegs. We got let's see. So we do this. Uh, uh, we got Pearl Jam, Boston, Massachusetts, August 29th, 2000. These are all the same. This was kind of a brilliant idea for them to do this, but they put out so many of them. It's just uh, crazy. I had to have one for them in Seattle, uh, November 6th, 2000, because that's their hometown. This is the, a longer one. This is this has three CDs. If you can see, most of them had just two like that. Um, I think there were a few shows that had three, and um, and uh, most, but like I said, most had two. Then we've got Las Vegas, Nevada, October twenty second, two thousand, and the last one, the show that I went to, uh, was New Orleans, Louisiana, August fourteenth, two thousand. My friend, who worked at the music store. We put him responsible to get the tickets because he worked at the music store. He shouldn't have to wait in line. You know, we were trying to play that game. Worst mistake. He he doesn't get us the tickets as soon as they open. He waits. And we ended up having tickets way on the side, kind of up high. We could have probably been on the floor if I'd have got the tickets. Uh, but, you know. As, and after that, I didn't trust my friends to get me anything anymore after that uh, but they, they had Sonic Youth open for them and somebody else was there too I don't remember uh, but that was a good show so I got a couple more CDs uh, the uh, just Pearl Jam one uh, with the avocado on it I don't I guess it's just called Pearl Jam I don't think they ever had a name for this one ba -doop, ba -doop. Uh, then this one, oh, what is this one called? Backspacer. Um, this one had a picture in it that somebody said looked like me. I don't know what that's about, but they were like, "Oh, you look like the guy in the Pearl Jam thing or whatever." I don't know. I don't see any guy that looks like me in here. Anyway. Uh, this one I haven't. Oh, there he is. That guy right there. They say he used to look like me. Or I used to look like him. Whoever that is. Probably one. Of, but that's one of the members of Pearl Jam, so. I don't know who that is, but we apparently look alike in some strange ways. And then the last two on CD I have. Pearl Jam Lost Dogs. This is awesome because this this kind of puts together a lot of those singles uh, on two disc. Uh, it uh, it has All Night, Sad Down, Hitchhiker, Don't Give Me No Lip, Alone, Moonlight, Education, Black, Red, Yellow, You, Leaving Here, Grammy Out of Control. Whale Song, Undone, Hold hold On, Yellow Ledbetter, Fatal, Other Side, Hard, Hard to Imagine, Footsteps, Wash, Dead Man, Strangest Tribe, Drifting, Let Me Sleep, Last Kiss, Sweet Lou, Dirty Frank, Brother, and B-Girl. Now, I don't know that all these songs were from singles, but they were like, they. I think most of these are B-sides, um, and... On a lot of those singles, I had those songs, but they were hard to find if you didn't, you know, if you weren't like downloading from Napster and all that other crap. Um, and then the last one is Pearl Jam's Rearview Mirror. I do not have Gigaton, which is the last album they put out, I believe. Um, and uh, I think that's the only album I don't have by them in, at all. So then, when I started collecting vinyl um, a couple of years ago, uh, I decided, you know, I needed, I wanted to get as much as I could by them. But some of their albums are, are expensive. Not that, not that they're rare, I don't guess. But they're like Gigatons, like was like fifty-five bucks or something like that when it first came out. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm not spending fifty-five bucks on it. I might do it now, but it, it ain't out. You know, you're not gonna find it or whatever. So 
I started looking and the first thing I did went to Walmart and I found this one this one was like $20 or $19.99 or something like that I think $18.97 actually so Pearl Jam 10 good find then they had a, a thing at uh, at uh, Target where they had a buy two get one free thing and they only had three albums that I wanted and one of them was Pearl Jam but, but I already had it so I wouldn't I didn't need it but it was the exclusive pressed on purple vinyl now I'm glad I got it though because I got it for free basically uh, I'm glad I got it because this one has if you if you're familiar with the 10 album I don't know if all the copies have maybe it was the early ones um, and maybe they cut it out I don't know but that at the very end there's a song it's called Master and Slave, something like that, and it's just kind of music that's kind of, um, you know, it's it's not there's no singing or anything. Um, it just it kind of plays out the album, and, and uh, that's not on the the Walmart version, but it's on this. So this is the complete album, whereas that one's not. Um, so I'm glad I did pick it up just for that. So whenever I listen to it, I just listen to the Target one. I don't listen to the Walmart one. Um, then I got uh, this one also came from Bobby um, that I. Either bought or won. I don't know. But that's Pearl Jam Live at Easy Street. Uh, and that is not an official one either. That has seven songs. Um, Half Full, Lucan, American and Me, Save You, Bleed For Me, New World featuring John Doe and Porch. So this one doesn't have any any real, their real hit songs. These are all probably, I don't know if they're all covers. They're cover songs, but they're, they're at least uh, B-sides. Maybe Save You. I don't know. Uh, and Porch definitely is their song, but you know it's almost like a single for that. Uh, it's pretty good though. It's not. It's not bad. Um, it, it's short. Then I got this from Record Store Day. It's a Pearl, the Pearl Jam Alive single. Uh, I wish this was white. Uh, it uh, you can't even. You can hardly read it at all. It, 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 poor choice of. Uh, color in there but there are four songs uh alive wash i've got a feeling and dirty frank and in the back on on the second side there's an etching of that but it's real small so not really I don't know. but uh but cool uh i uh definitely uh listened to that a few times then we've got no code again. This one has the same as the other with a bunch of pictures and stuff in it, but it didn't open them up on this one. I just left them sealed. Um, and uh, maybe one day I will. I don't know. It's a thick, thick record, though. Uh, then we've got uh, Binaural. And we got... What do we got here? We got... Lost Dog, not Lost Dog, Rearview Mirror, Parts 1 and 2. Uh, these, uh, I got these probably the day they came out, uh, or maybe the week. I saw them at Walmart, I know that right when they came out and I grabbed them. And then all of a sudden they were sold out for a while, and then they got them back. So I don't know if, they, if they're if they rare, not rare, but hard to get or not um, you know, anymore. Then we've got Versus. Uh... Again, this one does not say verses on it. Um, anywhere, I don't think. Doesn't say it on the sleeve. On there, it just says Pro Jam. Uh, says it on the sticker, though. <laughs> uh, the, um, this one. They did skimp a little bit on the uh, stuff. They just put that in there. Uh, they didn't go all out with the uh, crazy foldy stuff. But uh, this one is supposed to be like an audio file vinyl. Whatever that means. I think that one came from uh, the library. Then we've got Vitalogy. That's another heavy one. I mean, it, it's real thick and real heavy. Um, and so, um, live on two legs. Uh, the new one from 
uh, record store day was uh, give away. And lastly, the one I got today, and that is completely unplugged the acoustics broadcast. Acoustic broadcast. Uh, so, I do need more of them on vinyl. Um, and I probably will pick them up, you know, whenever I got some extra money hanging around and I see them. Um, I don't think they'll be too hard to find. Um, Gigaton's the only one I need for sure. I'm, I doubt I'll go looking for more singles. Um, or anything like that, uh, but uh, definitely uh, a good band. Um, they were, you know, I'd say they were one of my favorite bands of all time, I guess. Uh, you know, the early stuff for sure. Um, uh, probably have more Pearl Jam stuff than anybody else, probably. And I don't know why that is. It's just, it just because I, I, I bought all those singles, you know, and, and um, but. I know there are some other bands that have a lot of stuff that I did get a bunch of singles, but I don't think I have anything that compares. I mean, that that takes up, like, my little CD space thing that's right here. The, each little section, it takes up more than one section by themselves in it. So, uh, you know, I don't I don't think anybody else has that uh, going for them. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, Bobby, if you're still watching, thank you again for that, that record. Um, we'll talk sometime soon I'm sure um, and then um, that's it talk to you guys later bye bye